So can you tell what we're doing today? Hopefully, we find some of these. Some morel mushrooms. So that's the plan. It says morel hunting guide here. On the back, I don't know if you can read this. It says, on second thought, just go ahead and get lost. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to try to get lost. Oh, I'm blocking the camera. Here. I'm down. On second thought, get lost. That's how you find them. Get lost in the woods. And uh, you search for uh, yellow gold. I am what I am. So we've made it to the woods. Um, this is what it looks like. Hopefully we can hit about four or five woods today. Maybe a few more. And uh, we have seen some people getting some mushrooms around here. A little further south. But we're just going to check it out and see what we can do. Deer tracks. I usually find them on the outside of the woods, right here on the edge, uh, a lot of times. Um, but it looks like the farmers have been clearing the edge here. So I don't know how much that's going to disrupt it. Because you see this? Ugly. Now, you usually want to look for uh, dead elm um, and dead trees. Apple trees are really good. This is an old apple tree. Sometimes they'll be around those. See, this was all apples. They've broken this all apart, did overhang this. Um, and these have been here for probably 100 years. It used to be an old orchard. But they're making more room for um, crops, I guess. These little old corn cob things always get me at first. I'm like, oh, there's one. But right in here is where I usually find them. They normally come up in this woods a little later than others. Hopefully not completely this year because I'd really like to find some. So the best way to find morels is just uh, get to where you're going, stop and look around. I've stepped over them. I've had people walk in and walk right by them and then we find them and say, hey, there's one and then you find Plenty more where you just walk through, so they're real easy to miss, um, especially with everything going on. I mean, if you just have one mushroom sticking up right in here, you'd, it's hard to see. More deer tracks. So you just want to walk slow, walk light, and look hard. I do think the deer eat them. When they find them, they like, mmm, delicious little morsel. It's even a treat to them, I believe. I found them right in this trash pile. There were some pretty cool glass bottles and things we've sorted through. Look at this little Pepsi can, the pull tab one all destroyed but that's an old Pepsi Cola can 
They must have used this as their junkyard back in the day. A couple old water heaters, pressure tanks or something. When I find them here, it's usually a lot, a lot greener than it is now. A lot more uh, growth. So I don't know if it's just too early back here. What's that? What'd you say, babe? I recorded a deer trail for you. Oh, cool. I recorded a deer trail for you. Ooh, I like that sun. Man, that's nice. I'm not finding any. I'm afraid I'm walking on them all. Pushing them right back down in the ground. We're also going to look for some asparagus today. I don't know if that's up yet, but we're going to check that out. And see if we can harvest any of that. And we also like to get field stones while we're going across the fields. If there's some stones there, we'll throw them on. I know if you go to a landscape place, they're only a couple bucks a piece, but usually 80 cents a pound. Um, so they can be up to five dollars for some of the bigger stones. But we use it for landscaping, so we just grab them, uh, grab natural field stone while we're out. This is a fairly big woods, probably, I don't know, eight acres maybe. So not huge. Um, we're gonna go ahead and walk through it all. Some people are just spoiled. They think they get it all. really wanted to find a dead tree. Here's one. Don't know. I'm not really seeing anything. I do know every time I've ever found mushrooms, I've been ready to give up. So, I don't know what that says. But, it takes a while to find them. Hey, there's a nice mushroom. Here's a nice mushroom. Uh, yeah. Look at it. Very cool. Look at that thing. What kind is it? Um, I think they call it a uh, something about tangerine or. There's another one. But look at that thing. Big. Odd. Like? I don't know, I've never eaten them. I've seen them in pictures. We should probably take them though, because there's two of them. And I've never seen them before. You sure it's not I'm not sure. I want to research them. I got a book at home. Nail on them. I have never found these in the wild. I've seen pictures. Heavy. I do not know what they are. Heavy, heavy guys. They are and cool. But they have a stem like a morale. I think they're called like um, tangerine or. They are bitter smelling. They could be poisonous. Why? 
They're huge. Good sign. Look at this beautiful little flower. A little wild, pretty wildflower. A nice little. Spider there. Pretty. Little white or yellow flowers sticking out. That's pretty little flower. Well, we found some mushrooms. Let's find some morels. Apricot. I think they call them apricot. Something mushrooms. Something like that. Is coming to mind. I don't know if that's it. Yeah, the deer trail. Look along there. I found them all along deer trails before. It's almost like they plant it. Maybe. Huh. Yeah, don't go picking wild mushrooms. You don't know what they are and eating them. You could die. A lot of them are very toxic and will kill you. Um. And there are a lot of look-alike mushrooms. Some are poisonous, some are not. There's even a false morel that will kill you. So, this is my edible wild mushrooms of North America field to kitchen guide. <clears throat> field to kitchen guide. And uh, we're going to look for that mushroom that we found. So, these are your standard morel mushrooms. Yellow, black, and half freeze. They look like that. And... They can look like this, black, or these we call dog peckers for obvious reasons. This is what I thought we found was these apricot jellies because um, they were orange like that and I couldn't remember. But those I do those are not it. Now back in this poisonous section. Um, I can't find anything that really looks exactly like them. But I do think that they are a false morel. They look a lot like the morel stem. Now these are a lot darker than the ones we found, but they're the same stem. They look a lot more like this one, only oranger, a little more orange. But these are um, false morels. And see how close they look to a regular morel? Only these are, um, they don't, <clears throat> the stem goes clean up inside of it. And the other one is all hollow. A, a morel will be all hollow inside. The stem actually won't go up to the inside of it. So the, the um, top part here on a morel is actually comes down as, if you cut it in half, it'll be hollow all the way through. Won't have that stem that goes up to there. But I think this is what we found, which is another uh, false morel. And they are poisonous. Toxicity says this is a potentially deadly mushroom. Even though the scientific name means edible, uh, they are not edible. There's good evidence that reported that people doing boiling became ill. Regardless, false morels are also known as contain carcinogens that cause tumors in animals. So steer clear of that and don't put it on your table. So we won't be eating those. And that's the closest thing I could find to them, but I don't take chances. I just, I like to research stuff. And sometimes there's a lot of good mushrooms in here. And, um, you know, I, I've never found them or ate them, so I like to bring them back and kind of, uh, see what it is I'm finding. Because the more you know. So you're better off just, uh, getting along with me. People don't like it when they aren't. I 
I think we should go hit some railroad tracks. It is still a little early, a little warm. I mean, a little cool. So, I think we'll have more luck on the tracks. I don't want to eat any branch. Get out of my mouth. There's some wild onion. Rants, they call it. You can pick those and cut them up for green onions. They're there, 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 all over in here. But if you pick these, they actually got little bulbs on them. See, little bulbs. And they smell just like garlic or onions. But they're just green onions. All over in here. I grow these in my garden. They grow wild all over. They're good on uh, cut these up and put them on sourdough starter or your uh, your uh, leaven or your go away stuff you don't use. Um, fry up your bread. Throw a little of this green onion on top. Some salt, pepper. Fry it in oil. You don't have to throw it out. A lot of people make pancakes, but. We made bread, it gets crispy on the outside. And it's so good, it tastes so good. Look at that big old buck, that is a big buck track. See that? Here's my hand. It's bigger than my hand. That's the front. And then it's back too, and that's how you can tell it's a buck, because it's got the back. Those only have the front. And that is a big buck. That's a big buck. So we've got these funky mushrooms and some rants. And we'll get some field stone on the way out. And that's so far all we're gonna harvest from this. Now this is all raspberries here. Come out here and pick all this. I think it is. Maybe not. No, maybe not. There's thorns on there. Could be. Could be. Yeah, this is. This is definitely raspberry here. Now you can take one of them stalks, take it home, and they'll grow. You don't have to buy it at the store. They're wild in woods all over. You want to start your own raspberry patch? Take this side, I'll take the other side. That's probably that train coming. <coughs> Stay down off the rocks when they're going by. Make sure you look around that white flower and tree. I may not be able to see it until after that. That's a good spot right there. Pretty rough. Pretty nice treasure. Tammy found. It says made in the USA. Have something gray. Nice blue electrical glass topper thing. Himalayan salt. My uncle from Tennessee, we had Himalayan salt popcorn once. He said the only Himalayan stuff I had was a Himalayan possum. 
I said, what's a Himalayan possum? He said, well, we found Himalayan on the road and we took him home and ate him. Did you like this video? You see that like button? Go ahead and push it. And subscribe so you stay up to date with all of our adventures. So until next time. Peace, everyone. Later, y'all.